I was really just sitting here thinking about some shit. And what I was thinking about is... Hold on, get a good angle. What I was thinking about is how most people don't really think about anything. Does that make sense to y'all? I was thinking about how a lot of people don't think about anything. How often do you just sit here or sit somewhere and calculate the possibilities of your existence? How often do you, not, not your job, not your career or not like how often do you sit here and calculate the purpose of your existence Todd Weezy so I tell y'all this right a lot of people a lot of people may look at me and they say oh daylight you smart man or you know like you got this or you got that or yada 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 and I tell y'all all the time like I'm not smart I'm not a genius I'm not nothing like I hate when people say that I hate when people use the word genius like that I'm not a genius I'm not I'm not super smart I'm not I'm not no specialer than y'all niggas I'm no different from y'all. I'm not no fucking demigod. I ain't no fucking nothing. Right? I just actually take the time out of my life to think. And I've always took the time out of my life to think. And I also think upon my own opinions. And I don't let people sway how I feel about life. I don't I don't let my mind... Uh... I don't let my mind be tainted by those around me based on other people's opinions. I don't care what other people around me think. I don't care how other people around me feel. I don't, it don't, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I don't let anybody sway my opinions and I also think about like life a lot. I think about the overall spectrum of life. Now I tell y'all, everything I know, everything I do, everything I say, it can all be taught by y'all. It can all be learned by y'all. Like everything I'm fluent at. Like, like if you ever come to my house, I don't really have anything in here. I have cameras. I have computer. Look, computer over there. Computer over there. Costumes. All type of shit. Like, I don't. Like, you ain't gonna see no Jordans in my house. You're not gonna see no fancy clothes. You're not gonna see none of that. You're not gonna see no big ass TVs, couches, none of that. Like, like most of the stuff in my house is things that can help me grow mentally, physically. Like, or like it can help me grow, like, in every aspect, right? So, what I do is I take time out of my house. I mean, I take time out of my, my life to just really sit back and think. When I was little, you know, they used to say I zoned out in space a lot. Like, I didn't zone, I never zoned out in space a lot. That's, that's, that's part of the problem. Like, hey, hurry up, look at me. You, you, you taking too much time to yourself. You ever notice when you was a kid, like every time you zoned out, somebody try to bring you back? You ever notice that? Every time you like zone out, you know, you go into that little daydream thing, then somebody try to bring you back. Like, somebody try to, like, nah, sometimes that shit is good when you go into that world where you could just sit there and think. Like, you ever notice when you go into that daydreaming type of world, you don't even be breathing? Have y'all noticed that? Like, when you go into that daydreaming looking world, you don't even be breathing. Like, when you pop back into it, you be taking a deep breath. Like, <sighs> it's almost like you left the world for a second. 
Like, am I lying? It, like, for real, bro. Like, you don't, you don't be breathing. You don't be nothing. Like, it, like you be gone. Like, you be literally gone out of this realm. Shit kind of crazy, right? So that led me to think, what if we really don't need to breathe? What if air is a lie? Like, do y'all do y'all question some of this shit? And that's the thing with me. Like, I question a lot. Like, I got to the point to where I don't believe nothing they taught us. Because the people who taught us have every every agenda to destroy our mentality. So I'm at the point to where, like, I don't believe nothing. Right? Like, because there's, look, I'm going to be honest with you. There's been plenty of times where I wasn't breathing and then I had to breathe. I'm like, <sighs> and I'm like, yo, was I not breathing? Why the fuck? Like, I'm pretty sure everybody has done that, right? I'm pretty sure everybody has went into a state where they could recall not breathing. And then they snapped back into reality and was like, wait. I was just not breathing for like three minutes. Then I started thinking about breathing, right? Because look, um, I used to be a lifeguard when I was younger. I did a lot of things when I was younger. Everybody everybody that grew up with me will tell you, Daylight actually did a lot of shit when he was younger. Like I did everything when I was younger. When I was younger, I spent a lot of time in my life trying to find myself. So I played basketball, I was a lifeguard, nigga, I was a security guard. Nigga, I was doing all type of shit when I was younger. Like, really trying to find myself. Like, like trying to find, like, what is my purpose in this world? So, yes, I was a lifeguard. I could swim very well. I could hold my breath for dummy long. Right? Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. When you a lifeguard and when you're doing training like that, you got Navy SEAL niggas that hold their breath like 30 minutes on some shit, right? So, like, when you training for underwater, like, underwater training, right? Right? When you're training underwater, the more calmer you are, you don't have to breathe. Like, when I be in the pool and people be like, yo, is this nigga dead? Nigga, I'll be under there 15 minutes. Only when you start running out of breath is when you start panicking. When you start panicking, you start running out of breath. Then when you start looking at the top of the water, then you like the world start closing down on you. I've done this on live before. I've stayed underwater for like 12 minutes live. On my Instagram, 12 minutes underwater. I've done it live before numerous times. It's like a form of meditation, right? When you get under the water, you have to learn how to meditate. The more calm you are, the more, like, the more calm you are, the easier it is for you to breathe. See, look at y'all. Look how many doubters we have in this world because they've been programmed so crazy to believe that they have to breathe. Look how many doubters. Look how many people in here that automatically think that that's not possible. Right? Look how many people we got that think that's not possible. These people have absolutely no faith in themselves. Look how many people. Th There's people in here that's seen it with their own eyes. Look how many people in here that think it's not possible. These are the type of people we live with. They have no faith in themselves. They're all programs. They're all robots. You have zero faith in yourself. None. And you live by everything the program tells you to. So instead of sitting here going along with the flow, go try it. Like sheep will be sheep. You can't never tell a sheep he's a sheep. He's going to always be a sheep. So I'm speaking to those who really understand and also those who who been watching me on Periscope, those who been fucking with me since Tiny Chat. Y'all got to think, I've been going live before the going live was cool. I've been Tiny Chatting and all that shit for years, bro. Years before this Instagram shit popped up, before all that shit popped up. So big shouts out to the, my friend, my real 30s that have been following me from nigga 2000, who knows when. 
right? But um, going back to what I was saying, right? Like, I started questioning a lot of things. And then I started, once you start questioning a lot of things, you start to look at life, right? What's good, Reese? Like, if it was, like, kind of hot outside, but it's not hot right now, I would literally go to the pool and show y'all. But, anywho, um, so going back to what I was saying, right, once you start, once you start to, uh, once you start to question things, you start to believe in yourself. And that's one thing that, that Reese, you know, Reese, Hey, y'all, that's my boy Reesey right there, right? Me and Reesey go way back. I'm going to tell y'all how I met. So I had a rap battle in London, and I wasn't feeling too good. So I told Reesey, I was like, yo, Reese, I'm about to get ass naked in the rap battle. And Reesey was like, he looked at me, and I was like, bro, just put on the horse. Put the horse mask on your head. So Reesey put the horse mask on his head. And I walked on the stage and I was getting my ass whooped by some nigga that was speaking African African English, right? This nigga this nigga the nigga I was rapping, he's a African nigga that has an English accent, so he was speaking in multiple code. So I said, you know what? I can't beat this nigga. I'm just gonna get naked. And I got ass naked in the middle of a rap battle. Bam. And then that's how me and Reese became boys and shit. It's like my man in, from London. Yo, Reese was right there with me the whole time, bro. It's epic. All right, so now y'all understand. Now let's get back to it. So I did. I told y'all I'm trying to find myself, G. I did a lot of shit in my life, a whole lot, a lot of things that I'm not afraid to admit. Cause I don't give a fuck. Uh, now I'm gonna try to get back over there soon. Um, actually, I got banned from London. I got like two more years to go. I got like I had I got like a seven year ban or some shit from London. When I um that shit that happened with Erd when he did the false document shit, so I had to clear some shit up. I had to pay some fees, all type of shit. So I got like two more years to go before I can come back to London. But bigger than that, um, going back to what I was saying, right? Uh. Once you start studying yourself, right? Once you start studying yourself, once you start, once you start questioning, you start studying yourself. Once you start studying yourself, you you start to have faith in yourself, right? And I think that that's where the problem lies. That's where the problem lies in majority of us and majority of y'all is actually having faith in yourself. I'm 35 years old. Actually having faith in yourself, right? Confidence in yourself, telling yourself, I could do this. Right? That's the that's that's one of the greatest things in the world to really have faith in yourself. Right? Quick note, Nipsey Hussle was two grades ahead of his age. Quick note, I hope you know that. I'm 35, Nip is 33. How the fuck was he in 8th grade with us? I just want y'all to know that. This is something I want to throw out there. That let y'all know how smart this nigga was when we was kids. I was in 8th grade, he was in 8th grade with us, and he's 33. How? I just want y'all to know that. Put that in the air. The nigga was advanced since we was children. I'm 35, he, th he was 33, that means two years younger than me. He was in eighth grade with us. How, exactly? But going back to what I was saying, right? Uh, Yes, for those who don't know, me and Nipsey went to junior high school together. But uh, going back to what I was saying, um, uh, the nigga was building computers and all type of scientific shit and all type of shit when we was younger. Look, y'all, my nigga, I keep telling y'all this, bro. I'm not, I don't want to keep jumping on this shit, but it's like nobody believed me all these years I've been saying this shit. Everybody like, nah, nigga, Nipsey Hussle was a gang member from 60s. I'm like, no, he's not. This nigga is a fucking, 
He like a uh, Jimmy Neutron. I've been telling niggas that since for the past 12 years. This is not a game banger from 6-0 Crip. This nigga is Jimmy Neutron. I've been telling people that for literally 10 years straight and nobody listened to me. Now everybody see. I was telling niggas, yo, they thought I was trolling. I'm like, yo, this nigga used to come to school with like Iron Man type of gadgets and shit. Jarvis. Jarvis and all them niggas used to be with Nip. He had, he had a nigga like Vision. He came to school with another human being. Like, it was like another computer thing. Like, how you did that? Y'all niggas never listened to me. I've been telling y'all this for the for ages. The nigga used to build all type of electronical shit and shit when we was younger. I've been telling y'all that, bro. Y'all didn't listen to me. Oh, they like just making up stories. He trolling. No, I'm not. The nigga always been advanced since we was kids. I tried to tell y'all that. But let's get off that. Let's get back on y'all. Because stop trying to distract us from the simple fact that we not talking about that. We trying to build y'all. So, going back to what I was saying. Confidence. Faith in yourself. And that is the problem. A lot of, look, I'm going to tell you the problem with things like the NBA, things like wrestling, things like Things like all of these bigger things that y'all look up to, whether y'all want it, whether y'all want to know it or not, these are distractions. This is why I don't watch. I don't watch basketball. I don't watch. I don't watch football. I don't watch none of this shit. I don't watch no sports. I don't watch Game of Thrones. I don't watch Walking Dead. I'm watching nothing because little do y'all know this shit is designed to make you put faith in somebody else. It's designed to make you put faith in somebody else. So when you see, when you dedicating all your energy, like, I hope he make it or I hope he win. Bitch, you losing. You at home taking L's day by day. And you wake up every day to see if somebody else is going to be, like, win. Nah, bro. You got to put this same faith into yourself. You know how many niggas' lives is taking L's, but you online all day seeing who won? Look, you got to learn how to put all of this faith into yourself, bro. You got to learn how to put all of this type of energy into yourself. Build your confidence. and when Hit your own goal. You talking about, oh, so-and-so scored 50 points. Nigga, he made 59 goals. Nigga, how many goals you made? Right? How many goals you made? Do you even got goals? Some people don't even got goals no more. Some people just live day-to-day dedicating their lives to everybody else. Bro, some people don't even got goals no more. The average person, nigga, you, when we was younger, at least we had some type of goals. Like, you ask the average kid what they want to be, nigga, be like, I want to be a police, I want to be a nurse, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a some. Nowadays, you ask the average kid what the hell you want to be when they grow up, nigga, gonna be like, Shut up. I don't know. Bro, what I'm saying is this you gotta put faith and confidence in yourself, and then things will happen. And once you start to put the faith and confidence in yourself, like the world becomes easy. That's why I tell a lot of y'all, once again, going back to music in general, I tell everybody, don't make songs like one day I'm going to make it or when I get on. Like, don't make songs like that because you already you already casting a spell on yourself. Right? Nigga, make songs like I'm lit. I'm the best rapper in the world. That's it. You got it. don't matter if you don't got no money in your pocket, bitch. You better lie on the track, bitch. I got eighty billion, nigga. Turn up with Sicilian, Silicon Valley. I was rallied with the real ones. You feel me? You better, t- bro. Look, it's a confidence trap. Once you build your confidence, bro, you unstoppable, right? It's a confidence trap. Once you, once you, once you, once you create a form of confidence inside your head, you unstoppable mentally and physically. Because even when you don't got nothing, you still unstoppable. See, a lot of people, they meter, their life meter is tied into their power meter. Let me break that down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say that one more time. 
a lot of people life meter is tied into their power meter do that make sense a lot of people's life meter is tied into their power meter what I mean by that is when your power when your life meter when your like like life what I mean by life is like your your money your job your money, your job, you know, all that materialistic fake world shit. And then your, uh, that's your life meter. Your power meter is your energy. So when people's lives not going good, they energy die down. And then when your energy die down, you don't really know what the fuck to do. And then you fall into a depression. Now, that's why I like crackheads. I love crackheads for that very reason. Even when they don't got nothing, they still happy. That's why I like about crackheads. You go downtown, any skid row, you gonna see niggas dancing, having a good time. They've somehow as as cracked out as they are, they have managed to learn how to still be happy at the lowest of their lives. No, it's true. You go to any downtown area where there's a bunch of crackheads, you gonna see music, you gonna see them laughing. You're going to see them having a good time. They may be fucked up, stanky, smelling like piss and all that, but they having a fucking good time, right? And then you got niggas who got dummy money jumping off bridges and shit, committing suicide, doing all type of weird shit. So what I'm saying is, look, right? Don't let this materialistic world break or make your energy. When you become content and happy with yourself, nothing else matters. None of this other just shit matters. Then when you come content and happy with yourself, you got confidence through the thick, the storm, the weather. It don't matter what's happening. You're going to have dummy confidence no matter what. You could be at your lowest, bro. And that's one thing I used to like about my mom. Like, even when we ain't have nothing, she used to keep her head up high. Like, well, the food stamps ain't come today. Shit. Well, y'all know what to do. Peanut butter and jellies. She, my mom be outside on the porch talking on the phone. Hell yeah, sister Tanya, she, I ain't shit. I went to the county building, bitch. The bitch did tell me my shit ain't coming. She, nigga, you know what I did? I made 25 peanut butter and jelly, told the kid, they better eat it. Shit, and then, not only did that, I used the last dollar to wash some water balloons. Shit, we gonna ride it out. Mama didn't give a fuck. At our lowest, she kept her head up high. I never seen my mama cry my whole life, never. I ain't see my mom cry till my uncle my uncle passed, where which is her brother. But other than that, it didn't matter what we was going through. Mom kept her head up high, no matter what. And I kind of like I've I've learned that over the years. Like, boom, all right. Even when it's low, like even when you at your dummy low, keep your head up high, bro, and it'll turn over easy. So when you get your when you get to your dummy low, then your energy get to the dummy low. Then that's when the demons could attack you. Cause look. When your energy high, bro, no matter what, demons can't attack you, bro. It's just when your shit get low and you feel dark. You know you know the thing, when your shit get low and you feel dark, then all the temptations seem extra strong. You know the thing I'm talking about? When you get dark and you get to your lowest thing, then the smoking and all the extra shit feel extra strong and... You start to feel like you can't fight it. That's because you let your energy get too low. You got to think demons and shit can only attack when you low, bro. They can only attack when you low. They can't attack when you at your high. They can't, bro. They can't break you. Negative energy attracts negative energy. They can't break you when you at your high, bro. It's easy. My nigga, I be in the coke parties walking through like, da da da. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> nigga, I'm talking about coke party, bro. You know, all these industry niggas, super coke heads, all of them, bro. I be in full coke studio session. Coke. Bro, you think this is a Coca-Cola factory, how much coke was there? It's lines everywhere. I'm the only nigga with real lines. I'm in the studio. It's dummy coke everywhere. Coke, coke, coke. Niggas doing pills. Niggas smoking. Bitch, I, my energy be so high. My nigga, I be feeling like I'm in the studio by myself. I go in the full Coke party studio, nigga, knock out 10 songs and bounce. Niggas be like, Daylight was here? I ain't even see him because I don't see y'all. 
Marty, get the baby. Because I don't see y'all. Our energy ain't even on the same, it ain't on the same plateau. So I don't see y'all. You don't see me, I don't see y'all. We, we not on the same frequency, we not on the same wave. You on FM station, I'm on AM station. I don't see y'all. You get what I'm saying? Bro, I'm in the middle of the smoke, bro, and I don't let none of this shit distract me. Yo, daylight. Man, come on, man. We just, we just, man, we just sold this many records, man. Take a sip with a nigga. Oh, you acting like a square. Nigga, take a sip with a nigga. You ain't, nigga, I just bought the Moet. You ain't gonna pop something with me? I just be like, let me get a cup of water. They be like, oh, daylight, man, you killing the vibe. Bitch, I'm not killing the vibe. I'm preserving it. The fuck you mean killing the vibe? Bitch, I'm preserving it. Bitch, you gonna have a headache, a stomach ache, all type of shit in the morning. Bitch, I'm preserving the vibe. Fuck you talking about killing it? No. I'm preserving it. I don't want no drink. I don't want no smoke. I don't want no nothing. Bitch, I want to remember today. Bitch, I don't want to wake up tomorrow and ask people what happened. I'm not killing the vibe, bitch. I'm preserving it. Right? But bigger than that. So let's switch topics real quick. Because I, I, I want to go somewhere else. Now. Question for all of y'all. Right? Did y'all know the movie The Matrix was written by a black woman and the movie Terminator? Did y'all know this? There's a lot of people that don't know this. So I'll say it again. The movie The Matrix was written by a black woman and the movie Terminator was written by a black woman. Now this is the thing, right? Because we about, I'm about to fuck y'all up real quick. For all the people that know this, why haven't nobody reached out to her? This is the fucked up part. You ever notice that? Why haven't nobody reached out to Sophia Stewart? Why isn't we actually trying to talk to this woman? No. The, the white niggas stole it like they steal everything else. Her name is Sophia Stewart. They, steal her, they stole her movie and all her ideas like they steal everything on the planet. This is actual facts and do not disagree with me. But yeah, it was written by a black woman. Her name is Sophia Stewart. She wrote Terminator 2 and all the Terminators and all the Matrixes. But bigger than that, right? Um, And she won a lawsuit. Yeah, she won a big lawsuit. Won. They stole all her ideas and she won a big lawsuit. But bigger than that, now, I want you to think about this. If this is a black woman that wrote this movie, what type of mind she got? Y'all think I'm smart. We need to find this bitch. No, no, no. Hear me out. Fuck, fuck just, just thinking about she wrote the movie The Matrix. Did you know the original name of the movie was called The Third Eye? Did y'all know that? Did you know the original name of the movie, The Matrix, was called The Third Eye? I've seen the scripts. Y'all didn't know that? Yes, the original name of The Matrix that was written by Sophia Stewart was called The Third Eye. This nigga, man, get out of here, bro. James Cameron got his dumb ass sued too. So this is the thing. And remind you, she wrote this shit in the, who knows when. She wrote this shit way back. This ain't no new film. I think she wrote this shit in the 80s. She wrote this shit in like the 80s, like 85 or some shit, bro. She was thinking like this in 80-something. So look, what I'm saying is this. 
We need to find her. Somebody black. One of these black. And this is why I be saying these rap niggas is fucking pro. I be telling you, my nigga. It's like these niggas say they tapped in, but they ain't. Like the celebrity niggas say they tapped in, but they ain't. Everybody helping out there. You donating to charity. You donating to UCLA. You donating to all this fuck shit that still helped the system. We need to find Sophia Stewart and put money behind her to help her make another movie, bro. This bitch wrote The Matrix. That's the best movie ever. Ever of all times. It's the most complicated and most layered movie that uh, ever. Ever. Why nobody have dumped millions of dollars into her to to help her produce another film? If I had the billions, I'd, man, I'd dump it all. No. We need to find her and help her produce. You got to understand, if this bitch, I'm like, I just like using the word bitch. Because when you speaking like this, you have to say bitch. Because it just sound, it don't sound, it sound white if you say, oh, this woman, this woman over here wrote it just sound kind of Caucasian-ish, so I got to keep my black thing when I'm talking. The bitch, check me. So look, bam. The bitch wrote, you feel, you see how that sound? That relate to us a little more. You feel me? It's like, it just feel a little better when you say it like that. Like, it just feel like, like nigga shit. Like, we talking in nigga terms. You feel me? So look, the bitch wrote The Matrix, my nigga. Keep it all the way real with y'all. And on some G shit, like, we need to really find her and we need to donate something into her. You know what movie she we got to help her produce? We got to help her produce the Nipsey movie. We going to name this as the 60 Matrix. 60 Matrixes. The Matrix in your neighborhood, nigga, we gonna, we gonna name that shit, so we need to help her produce that. She gotta produce The Matrix, but the hood version of Nipsey was Neo, Big U was Morpheus. That'd be hard, huh? Big Morpheus, uh, you came to, uh, you came to Nipsey, like, hey, Nipsey, you wanna take the Xanax or you wanna take the Oxycontin? Pick one. You want to pop a Molly or you want to pop a Zan? Nigga, big UK, the nip with the bit, the Molly in one hand, Zan in one hand. Hey, which way you want to go, nigga? If you pop the Zan, you feel it. Look. Nigga, this should be hard, bro. Like, if they make the Matrix back over, like a hood, like a hood type of Matrix, that should be hard. Yo, killing my nigga, man. Like I'm, I'm happy to see that he didn't let this shit break him all the way down. And since he was really like right hand on Nip's side, like I'm pretty sure Nip wanted him to go harder than ever. I'm killing my nigga. Me and Killer go way, 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 way back. Like way, 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 way back. Like MySpace back. But no, nah, like. We most definitely need to do that, bro. Like, we need to... Oh, my God. Did y'all know... A... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 This nigga said false. James Cameron wrote The Terminator. Y'all see what I be saying, bro? You see the type of shit I be saying? Man, get your stupid ass out of here. Y'all see that? You see how programmed niggas is? Niggas really said somebody else wrote the Matrix. Like, you one of them niggas that think Jesus was white. You one of them niggas that think Jesus was Caucasian. That's you. Anywho. So... I got some special news for y'all today, and um, I'm actually about to drop that pretty soon. So something of mine will be dropping today. 
So I want y'all to really, really be on the scavenge hunt for the internet today because it's most definitely going to be dropping in the next couple of hours. So if y'all can, if y'all can, wait, what you about to request? Huh. She says you about to request something. What you about to request? Yo, please get out of here with that protect daylight shit. Yo, look, please get out of here with that protect daylight shit. I hate when internet niggas be like, yo, protect daylight, protect that nigga. Fuck you mean when you understand energy, that means you speaking it. That means you a demon, bro. When niggas say protect daylight, that means you a demon, bro. That means in your mind, you already trying to visualize something happening to me. Bitch, do you see anybody in here saying protect daylight? On top of that, you ain't even going to protect me, you bitch ass nigga. You on the other side of the internet talking about protect somebody. Bitch, who you go? You ain't gonna do nothing but post R.I.P. Daylight. Soon they kill a nigga. Shut your ass up with that protect daylight shit. You ain't gonna do shit but post. Damn, daylight was conscious. The government got him. Yo, I hate niggas when they. Yes. They can get the game now. Mommy said it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna be in there in a minute. Yeah, we don't. Niggas be like protect. Uh, no, we're gonna go get the we're gonna get the disc. No, it's not cheaper. All right, we're well, down. Yeah, if that's what mommy said. Neither you protect daylight, bitch. Shut up, nigga. You ain't gonna protect nothing. Yo, you nigga, you you virtual reality. What you gonna protect my my player? The fuck? What you gonna go to the my park and stand around me? You gonna go to the my park and stop people from playing with me? And like, what, bro? All right, hey, I'm I'm about to, yo, I'm about to pull this dude up live, bro. I'm about to pull you up so I can talk to you right now. I'm going live with my bro. All right, I just went live with my bro. I went live with him. Y'all seen me? Y'all seen when I went live with him? I just went live with him. That shit was, it was so fast, y'all didn't even see it. That shit was super fast. We went live together in the astral plane. I tapped into his Merkaba. And then we went live together in the block live. Anywho, any books I recommend? Because I'm about to go. Hold on, hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. <laughs> 